Hi, my name is Wooly Wu, and I'm the president for uh, Food for Change. It is a club that happens every Thursday from 6.30 to 8.30 in Gym 2 SAS. And for my Catalyst project, I've decided to make a mini documentary about this club to, to show our progress and to show future club members that, um, that um, how the club was founded and um, the, the story behind the club. So every Thursday night in SAS, a group of SAS students host a weekly basketball session with the Down Syndrome children in Singapore. And through this basketball club that I personally created, I believe that playing basketball with Down Syndrome children not only can teach them the game of basketball, but as well as build a meaningful relationship between the kids. So come on in, guys. So, so this, this, is, this is the weekly session. Say hi to Mr. Moses, the parents. Hi. As you can see, everyone is enjoying themselves, and all the kids are happy. So when I first found, found this club, when I first had the idea was um, the end of sophomore year, where uh, unfortunately I was cut from the uh, JV basketball team. And my mom has t my mom told me that I should divert my passion for basketball basketball into something else. So I've decided to start a club where, where it's basketball related. After a while, um, the start of junior year, I decided to, to start the club. So, um, my first initial idea was to start an after-school basketball club with, with SS students, but I realized that was, that was not that good of an idea where um, people already play intramural basketball every Thursday. So what I've decided was that instead of having just a, a normal um, after-school basketball club, I should reach out uh, to other communities in Singapore. So um, I went around Singapore, Singaporean special needs school, and unfortunately, none of them said yes to this idea. So at the end, I approached the Down Syndrome Association of Singapore, where um, the, the parents were very open to the idea of a, of a basketball club in another school. And after a lot of logistics and um, help from uh, other, other SAS students, we were able to get this thing going. And it's been happening uh, every Thursday, except on school holidays uh, since last year. And uh, I, I, currently, uh, we have a lot of freshman members. And Mr. Fitz, Mr. Petrosino, and Mr. Skimmon are all the sponsors for the club. The Hoops for Change uh, was uh, started last year. Uh, really, the idea started two years ago. Um, uh, Willie and, uh, and and Nick uh, came to me and had had an idea and uh, Willie talked to me at length about this and um, really the first thing was I want to get involved in basketball and have an opportunity to uh, get other uh, other people interested in it and he had this idea to go to the Down Syndrome Association so uh, we head out after school one day uh, we go down there to meet the sort of organizers of DSA and see what kind of opportunities we would have to, uh, to work with them. So we go down there and we end up having, I thought it was gonna be a 30 minute conversation uh, meeting and it ended up being maybe two hours, two and a half hours uh, of really productive conversations, sharing all of, our, uh, all of our ideas, who we wanna work with. And they were really wanting to ensure that uh, we were committed, right? Uh, and so I was happy to be there just to say, absolutely, uh, we've got a lot of committed students uh, and this will be a long-term project, not just three months, six months, uh, year after year after year. And it's been really exciting to see that sort of develop. So we went down there, we met them, uh, we met some of the students, and, uh, and then they pretty much got back to us and said, yeah, we're, we're absolutely excited for this, we have people who are interested, it's been cheap. We, have, we chose a day that would be good to have this on. And, uh, and then we had sort of our initial uh, few sessions uh, going on last year. So that was really kind of the beginning of it. It's phenomenal, I love it. The exposure for our students will probably get more out of it than the actual kids participating. Yeah, yeah I think, yeah. Building the relationship, relationship comes first than playing basketball. Well, what about those parents that just, I mean, want, especially as kids take a lot of work and a lot of demanding time from them, right? 
How do you think they feel knowing that two hours every Thursday is, is a time when they can sort of relax and just observe their child instead of having to be busy engaging them for no fee? And by the way, the community that we're reaching out to, they're not too wealthy. So the, the, there's a few tips uh, that we we'll figure out and through a lot of research and advice from parents that we we'll figure out to how to work with Down syndrome children. The first tip will be um, just be patient. For all new members that are looking to join this club, I'm telling you, just be patient. Because um, sometimes it just takes time for them to understand what you want to do. And it, it is always... Um, necessary for for you to stay stay positive because um because you cannot get frustrated with these uh, participants you, you have to stay patient and play with them once you once you get their their trust as one of the parents had mentioned that because um, down syndrome children are very um they only recognize your face so we encourage members to show up on a regular basis and work with the exact same kid so you guys recognize each, each other's face, and this this is beneficial for your interaction with the children because you can get more things across. Like I've been stressing to the members that you have to know their names because um, not only does knowing their names show more of a connection, but it is more straightforward. So uh, I joined the club about at the beginning of this year and basically just because uh, my brother did it, he said it was super fun. So I did it and um, Willy Woo at the beginning, he assigned me with this one kid called Jaden. And um, like for some reason at the beginning, I felt like we had like such a bond together. Um, he didn't really like to play basketball, but he liked to just throw the ball random places. So I would just go and run and get the ball and pass it back to him. I really enjoy coming to Hoops for Change because it's a mix between I can like shoot around and play with my friends but it's also just seeing the kids and like when they make a shot it's really like it just makes you feel better about yourself and it makes you feel like you're doing something and I just really like seeing how happy they get and just working with them is a lot of fun. So basically I've been in Hoops for Change for about two years now and I've gone through it two years. It started in, what year did it start? Junior. I started my junior year, um, and basically, uh, I've learned a lot, um, like how to teach the kids. And what we really do is like we go, we do activities with them. Sometimes we stretch before, and we play basketball with them mainly. Let them shoot around. It's not really about three on three. It's more like developing the skills, and making sure they have a fun time. So on a day to day, uh, like on, it's every Thursday evening, and uh, basically it starts off with doing stretches or just. Like letting the kids shoot around, and then we go into depth with them about how to shoot. We try to teach them how to shoot. Sometimes it doesn't really work, but at least they're having fun. Uh, yeah, I really like Coops for Change. Um, for me, the timing is really get, uh, great. I, I live in the woodlands, and it kind of makes it easy to come every now and then on Thursdays. And I also find it, it's really fun to just play with the kids, hang out with them, because you know um, uh, I know that from from the people that I've kind of hung out with during uh, Hoops for Change, uh, I know that they really enjoy themselves and it just makes me happy to see that they're being happy. All right, so this year Hoops for Change has been really cool. Me and my friends have all really enjoyed coming. It's been super cool to see the development of the kids since since we first started, especially especially since we often get to like work with like the same kid every time. It's super fun to come see him like, every 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 session and see how he develops and stuff. Just start off by like um, what we do on a on a daily um, schedule for a regular hoops to change session. So first off, uh, I encourage you guys to start a group warm up where all the kids get to run around, do the same thing, and this is also a good time for them to get to get loosened up because um, judging from our last year's experience, a lot of the children um, just want to do one thing. So by pushing them to do a group warm up. The, not only does that make them more uh, inclusive, but it gets to improve their uh, mobility as well. And when, and the second part usually is where we play, we shoot hoops with the, the children. And in this, when you're shooting a bas basketball with, with the children, uh, it is absolutely 
important for you to know that making the basket is not the point of the of the drill. Building relationships and having fun are the most important thing when it comes to playing basketball with these children because like the, like the model of our club, basketball is only secondary. Building the relationship comes first. So when the kid is shooting a basketball and he doesn't make it, give him encouragement. And if he makes it, give him a high five because everybody needs some encouragement sometimes. And um, I believe that a lot of, um, by the way, a lot of kids like to shoot basketball. And it, a lot of Down Syndrome kids in our club uh, love to shoot around. And sometimes they get too carried away. So it is, it is also necessary for us, the teachers, um, or more like the coaches or the, or the assistants, to help them guide to the right way of shooting. For example, um, one of the kids, Enoch, he couldn't really shoot at the beginning of the sessions. But now he's able to make a few baskets. And we have other members like Iqbal, where they're able to have a, have a uh, organized basketball uh, like like the game horse and um, and then after the shooting up uh, uh, we will we, we'll usually do the passing drills and passing is usually something uh, very laid back because honestly um, no one likes to pass the ball um, the kids don't do not like to pass the ball to you and sometimes you don't want to pass the ball to the kids so I believe that the passing game should just be laid back instead of just uh, forcing them to pass uh, a certain way it should just be fun and you get just the point of this exercise is just to get to get the kids to move around. And finally, um, group games with the kids. Um, this usually happens with certain kids, but it doesn't happen with every single kid. As I mentioned before, um, all the kids have different uh, skill levels. But some of the kids have enough skills to run the game. And lastly, if none of this is working, sit down with the kids and talk to them. Because sometimes they just, they just need they just need someone to listen to. Even if you can't really understand what they're saying, it's always good to respond and and, and like for example, ask them how the how, how their day is. Um, ask them um, um, how 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 were the weekends and stuff. So I, I believe that all these exercises and all these drills are for a certain type of reason. It's, it's for us to bond better with the children and create a better atmosphere, both in the gym and outside SS. Yeah, it's been great. Okay, okay. It's been really cool working with kids, especially holiday. Say hi to the camera, holiday. I mean.